the view from the studio looking out is very different than the view from the studio looking in. But from potholes in the laneway to, to some pumps to birds in the stovepipe, I practice full spectrum femininity. I think my role as an artist is to trust myself to look and respond to what I actually see and truly hear. Both things that are said, things that are presented, but things that are left unsaid and not acknowledged. I position my people, my characters, in very specific ways. I want them to look accurate to their physicality, but like actors telling physical stories as part of the narrative in their positions, what they do with their bodies, I want to create a moment that's true. This is a real person sitting here for an actual purpose, however subtle it is. It's not just figurative, it's a moment of truth. My idea of working figuratively is not that I'm so fascinated by the body, I am fascinated by character. Nudes mm, may be beautiful, but my friends don't hang around with their clothes off. I think I'm often prompted to make studio pieces in response to conversations I don't hear. No one's talking about the amazing contribution that my mother makes in, in a hundred ways that you couldn't possibly salute in bronze. I'm looking at the moment with cultural translation. How does one generation pass on its culture? I don't think it's the stratification of culture uh, in age groups. I think it is a transfer from one generation to the next. My job is to figure out exactly how light shatters across this surface to represent this character. And that doesn't read necessarily, but it's with you unconsciously. If you're intrigued by this person, you may be intrigued by their legacy. I think portraiture is 20 parts talent and 80 parts patience. And certainly public art is the same, but it's the same as running a household. Those days, you, you know, many days, you're not sure if you're taking steps forward or back. I think my book is a perfect way to share 20 years that has a great deal of solitude in the studio. How to share all those late nights, how to share the making of my house and the making of my family. Life in bronze. Not life in bronze, life and bronze. And that's exactly what it is. Having a family and being an artist are self-nourishing as opposed to being exclusive. I wanted both, and it was just that simple. The book is perfectly timed on the 20th anniversary of my bronze work, and it coincides with Canada's 150th anniversary. How perfect to be able to connect client groups, literally from coast to coast. I don't know why I can do what I can do. Some of it is, is training, but some of it has always been there. There is a point where you open yourself up to the work, and you just let it happen. You have the skills, You've trained your eye, you allow it to come together, but you consciously get out of your own way and let the work happen. And as Elizabeth Gilbert said, for one, never assume that your best work is behind you. And always be prepared to just sharpen your pencil and show up.